Thanks for watching this video, guys. I'm Spongy Gaming. We're up to our fourth gold camo now for the submachine guns. This is in line. This is in order, guys. Number four weapon. This is the Vespa. And this Vespa is a really good all-round gun. It's good at long range, mid-range, and also at close combat. And as you know, guys, before you can work your way to get that gold camo, you first of all need to open up the 100 headshots and then on to the last five specialist challenges. Now, the headshots are a little bit harder with the submachine guns, if you've heard me say previous on other gold camo weapons, submachine guns, in that you don't get the high caliber as you do in the assault rifles. So it does make it a little bit harder. But there are various tips and tactics I can give you. Um, don't be frightened to run into the enemy spawn, guys. You know, sometimes they do camp around, um, standing in their spawn, the enemy, and also using score streaks. There's there's good opportunities there to get you good close-range headshots. Also, as well, keep running and gunning, guys. Those headshots will eventually happen for you, as they do for me, and they will automatically zoom in on them, even though you're not after them, okay? They will happen. They will keep going. So keep plugging away with the guys. You will get them. Then the five challenges um, at the end after you've got the 100 headshots, they aren't too um, hard. They are fairly easy with the Vespa. Again, the Vespa, as I said, is an all good round gun. So uh, you will hopefully, like myself, if you use the setup that I do, get these last five specialist challenges out of the way really, really easy. I can probably do these in about two or three games, okay, guys? So that's how easy this is. And that's the gold camo, guys really cool looking weapon this one as well anyway but with that gold camo it's really one to show off in games and it does look really really special so anyway my setup i'll always use the grip and uh, because they do have a good recoil rate these ones so they're quite bouncy but also the fast mags will help you as well last thing you want is to be uh, shooting away at an enemy and then you need to rechange your clip and again if you haven't got that fast mags on it does take time you'll probably get killed in the process but fast mags will help you change your clip fairly quickly now again in the perks there if you look at my perks there guys these do help me these perks we're going to change them around later as well i'm going to show you that they do actually make a difference okay a lot of people do think that oh it's just a little perk they don't really do much but trust me guys every single perk makes a difference in a game and i will show you this later especially when we're after the bloodthirsties okay so anyway, we're just going to slip into a game now. I'm going to show you this Vespa submachine gun. I'm going to show you how it handles. You're going to see it perform and literally see it all in its gold glory, okay? So it looks like we're going into the Metro map this time. We're playing Domination. Again, I don't know um, how far into the game this already is. I'd like to try and get into the start of the game for you guys, but we'll see. Let's get that Vespa up. Also, we're up to level max prestige with the weapon as well, as I do every single weapon. Now, looking at that... Oh, look at everyone's ping, guys. That is a crap game that we've come into here. I can feel I'm twitching already, even though I got that kill there, that was quite easy. Um, I can feel the screen twitching away there, it's just not moving smoothly at all, so the ping and the, the connection is not that great, so I don't expect to have a great gameplay. So I'm just going to play it safe. When you do come into games like this, guys, don't just come out, even though it does get frustrating and upsetting, because you will get killed fairly easily, and you'll think, why the hell did that happen? It's because of connection, guys, that's all it is. Um, but anyway, we're just going to keep this zone here just for the time being. Just until we can work out what's going on with the game, because we've come into this maybe a quarter of the way into it. So again, we just want to be a bit standoffish, a bit defensive to start. Now, there is a guy in there. He just killed one of my teammates. What I'm going to do is, hopefully there's another one. I'm going to use you as a guinea pig, mate. Sorry, but uh, I'm going to see where the enemy is. There he is. And that's how you get them little kills when they're camping around, waiting for us to spawn into their, their little doorways. Okay, but yeah, the connection is rubbish, guys, so I do apologise if this isn't the best of gameplay, but we're going to keep going. Anyway, this is to see the Vespa gun, and uh, like I said, it is very, very good. I do really like this weapon. It is good um, at long range as well as mid range, as I said, and close combat is really, really good as well, which is unlike some of the submachine guns. Some submachine guns, um, other than the Cuda, because I think the Cuda is the only other gun very similar to this one. But uh, some of the uh, submachine guns, other than those two I've just mentioned there, plus this Vesta, Vespa, sorry, um, they are not that great at long range. But this one is very accurate. It's still got a lot of damage as well. So we're just going to have a little play around this map, have a little look around. We're just going to keep this zone here. And uh, we'll see if we can't get a few more kills. So it's a very, very quiet game. This one, I think everyone else is struggling with the connection as well. It's unfortunate that sometimes, I mean, I play my games early in the morning where we're probably playing with other different countries around the world. 
and again the connection is not going to be all that great because uh, man if you're thousands of miles away how are we all going to play in that same game together with great connection it just doesn't work guys so that's why sometimes we do come into these rooms where sometimes our ping bars are on red or maybe amber but, um, you know, there's not really a lot we can do about that. I mean, that instance there when I just got shot, I mean, literally it was just one shot and I was dead. Same there again. It just gets so frustrating. But, yeah, normally we would not. Well, that would not happen. Um, normally it would take us about three or four bullets and we could probably kill the enemy before they killed us. But, uh, yeah, it's just instant death is what it seems like in this game, unfortunately. But uh, we'll keep playing away. We'll just have another couple of games. It's getting there. You know, I'd have normally got that kill there, but because of the connection so bad, um, I'm just instantly dying. Um, but yeah, um, you know, I'd swap and change your attachments because, again, not just the perks, guys, will make a difference, but the attachments all do make a difference as well. This is just the preferred, uh, again, just instant death there. <laughs> but um, the attachments, yeah, they do definitely make a difference, whichever one you have on. A lot of people do prefer on the submachine guns to have the rapid fire on. I do, do like the rapid fire, I must admit, but um, again, you do get a lot of recoil with it, so you're going to have to have the grip with it, and sometimes, you know, it will take a little bit more longer to get that kill because the bullets will bounce off the enemy with that uh, fire rate a little bit more higher, having the rapid fire on. But we'll see if we can't get a few kills. See, again, I should have got that kill there. I've got loads of hit markers on there, but it's just not showing. It's not getting that kill. It's like there's about one and a half, maybe two seconds delay um, in the game with that really bad connection that we're experiencing at the moment. Now we should be now coming up to this. No, we're just going to come out of the game, guys. We're, we're going to go on to another one now. As I say, the connection weren't that great. Looks like we're going back on to Nuketown. We're going to have a go on to Safeguard. Now, Safeguard is a really good um, game mode to go on to. You can get loads of kills on this one because the enemy will try, if they are, um, first of all, trying to get their robot to your um, base or whether you're trying to... Um, shoot that enemy robot doesn't matter either way the enemy are going to be around that robot like flies and again it's a good chance to get some high kills now we, again this is a good chance now to try this vesper out for real because the connection's a little bit more better in this game so we just got caught out there i think sometimes as well you can get caught out shooting the robot and again you think you're killing one of the enemy but it's actually the robot that you're shooting so obviously it won't kill that robot too quickly it takes a lot of damage that robot does but we're going after a bloodthirsty this time. And you, you will see as well, guys, well, when I get this bloodthirsty, I will get a bloodthirsty here. Okay. And if you look at my bullets as well, I am just about running. So I've just got the bloodthirsty, and I've got 19 bullets left. Now, if I wanted to continue on with this weapon to get other various challenges, I wouldn't be able to do it because my, my bullets will run out just like that, guys. You can pick another enemy up, uh, another enemy's weapon up, or one of your teammates' weapons, it doesn't matter, but it's not going to be that gun that you're trying to challenge up. So again, we're going to show you very shortly in a moment, we'll do another little bit of gameplay here, but I'm going to swap um, the perks around, I'm actually going to have the scavenger on, you'll see the difference that this will make in a moment. So again there, we just ran out of bullets, we did have fast max on, but we got caught out there just because we were running out of bullets, but the scavenger will help with that, it will resupplenish your um, ammo, um, to maximum. I think you can get something like nearly 300. We're going to test this out loud, guys. But this is like a game we're playing here, actually, this safeguard. Every one of my two members, near enough, is just camping back. When they do, guys, and you're the only one ever doing anything, it's very hard to win the game and, and actually play the game for what you, you're coming into the game for. But yeah, the enemy in this game, the, the teammates, sorry, in this game are just camping back. I'm actually having to do everything myself. If you notice there on the... Um, on the leaderboard there, I'm the only one in the positive. So again, that proves this Vesper is a good gun. It's a reliable gun, and it does do the job it wants. It will win games for you. But yeah, I'm only the only one in the positive. Everyone's sitting there. If you look at the map there, all the teammates are all just sitting back. How are they ever going to win a game or do the, 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 the match that they're trying to win while sitting back? This is why I'm getting killed so many times, because I'm the only one pushing forward. I'm trying to get that robot, and I will get it, guys. I will get that robot to the enemy base. I will trust this Vesper, and it will happen, I will get there. But you can see how the gameplay works when every one of your team members camp back, okay? Because the, the enemy will push forward, and you will not even get out of your spawn. So please, you know, don't do that, guys. There's no point in sitting around. Look at, the, look at my teammates, they're just sitting there at the back. It's not, not good. You know, I'm going to keep pushing, I'm going to keep trying to get that robot, just to prove to you that this weapon is really good, um, and uh, it will do the job required. Yeah, I'm going to die loads of times, but that's because my teammates are not helping me out. You know, I'm the only one pushing forward, as I said. 
but um, let's see if we can get another few more kills here. But yeah, you get many a game like that, unfortunately, on Call of Duty. I don't know why people come out. Even if you're after the challenges, you still push forward. You still play the game while getting the challenges. What good is it sitting back? What are you doing sitting back? You're not even playing the game, so get out. But um, anyway, we'll, we'll do the job. If they aren't going to do it, we'll do it, okay? But I'm determined to get that robot. I'm determined to get that robot to the end. So, anyway, I'm just going to have a little, a little change here. I'm just going to have a little bit. I'm getting shot there, but uh, luckily one of my teammates did shoot him. There you go. There are some benefits to camping back, because you can help me when I stand there for a few minutes while I just sort something out here. Right, let's just get back to this again, guys. Right, I'm determined. How long we got? We got just over a minute to get that robot to the enemy base. Let's keep pushing forward, even though my teammates aren't. Let's see if we can do this all solo. Let's try and be a hero if we can. But yeah, I really do trust this Vespa. If any gun is going to help us along with doing that, the Vespa will do that. Because we, as I said, we can get the three main ranges, the close range, the mid range, and the long range, all with this one weapon. And you don't even have to have the long barrel on, actually, to get the long shot kills with this Vespa. It is that good. So come on, Mr. Robot. Let's get ourselves moving to the enemy base. We've got just over 30 seconds left. We've got the purifier out. Uh, we'll help. Oh, we're getting shot from behind. But again, it's because our teammates aren't pushing forward. They're actually just controlling this middle zone, uh, the enemy. And again, the teammates aren't helping me. But I'm going to keep pushing. Everyone go up. We've got just over 17 seconds. Come on, Vespa. You can do this for me. That's a good kill there because that's going to stop him from coming around from the side of me. Let's get another one here. Go on, Vespa. Yes, and that is how you do it, guys. Solo that. That was absolutely solo. Look at me. 33 for 22. Everyone else in the negative. And that is, oh, and we get a final kill cam as well. Just to prove that this Vespa is one awesome weapon. But there you go, guys. I do play the game, unlike some people. Okay, if it weren't for me, guys, you wouldn't have won that round. So let's change the perks now. Like I said, this is the difference it's going to make now, guys. We've now come from the fast um, reload. We're now going on to the scavenger. And you'll see that the scavenger do help. So we're going into another game now. Now, what the scavenger does is, if you don't know, guys, it will, as you kill an enemy or one of your teammates die or something like that, um, you will get a little bag down by the side of them. And that's basically where your ammo is, and you can resupply and you can replenish your ammo. It will go up the more you get. I think you can get a total of about 320, 330, but we'll definitely check that. But this is going to help with bloodthirsties, guys, okay? Because the last thing you want to do, if you're trying to get a bloodthirsty with this weapon... Or whatever weapon that you're choosing or to camo up whatever it is you're doing you need to make sure that you do not run out of ammo because that if you run out of ammo guys that's your gun wasted okay you can't get the last kill or maybe two kills you want with that gun because you've run out of ammo so you want to make sure that you use that scavenger and uh, it will help you to keep on letting you use that gun that you need to get that blood thirst whatever challenge that is uh, that you need for that gun so we're getting a few kills here. We're going to try and keep running into that enemy spawn if we can. See if we can get another one here. They will spawn. Oh, the teammate spawning there. That's good. So that means we are on top of the game at the moment. Now as well, what I would say to you guys is don't use scavenger if you are going to camp back and hold back. Only use scavenger if you are going to run in. Because this is uh, this is now going to prove a point to you guys. That I've got the scavenger on. Okay, I haven't resupplied any bags just yet. Okay, so I haven't got any ammo, so I'm down to my 18 bullets, and I've got one more kill, I think, to get that bloodthirsty. So I've got a feeling I'm going to run out of bullets. There we go, I didn't get that kill there. I did get one bag there, but it only went to 30. They resupplied 30 bullets for me. But like I said, this scavenger, if you do not, okay, if you do not use it and you're picking up them bags, what is the point in having it on, guys? You've got to make sure if you're using a scavenger, once you've killed an enemy, go and get them. Okay, again, this is proven points here, what I'm trying to show you guys. is how to play the games better. But make sure that when you do kill the enemy, you get that bag. There's one just dropped in front, so we'll get that. No, we're going to fill it up now. We're going to do a different gameplay. We're going to get these kills. We're also going to get these bags. So you can see how much that will go up to. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get this bloodthirsty. And you're going to see at the end as well how many bullets I've got at the end after I've got the bloodthirsty. And you'll be actually quite surprised, guys. It does prove that this scavenger does really work, especially after your bloodthirsties. So we're ready up to today. We'll get all those bags. I'm up to 88 at the minute still. I've still got 88 bullets left, plus my 30 in that clip. Here we go. There's another one there. Okay. And uh, we are nearly got that bloodthirsty. We're up to 118 bullets. There we go. There's another one. 
We've still got 118 bullets left, plus the 30 in the clip. Need, I think, one more. There we go, guys. There's the bloodthirsty, like I told you. And it's 30 in the clip still, and still 108 bullets left. So I can continue on now. I can even go for that merciless if I wanted. But that is the difference, guys, in this, okay? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And uh, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. But please use the Vesper. It's an awesome gun.